Really done it. I got a new sensation. This is an amazing feat of engineering. London Paddington to Canary Wharf in 14 minutes flat in super luxurious air conditioned comfort. This is just nuts. I didn't think it was possible to do it that fast. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Hello everyone and welcome back to CoolCapeTravel.com for fun and informative travel videos. And the sun comes like a guy. I am standing outside Paddington Station. Gotta hold on to new sensation. New sensation. This is the train to Abbey Wood via Canary Wharf. Please remain seated until the train is ready. Today we are about to travel on the brand new Elizabeth Line. All the way from Paddington to central London. Cry, baby, cry. Yes, everyone, this incredible feat of engineering is a game changer for transport and travel in London. And it all started right here in Baker Street in 1863. Baker Street is one of the original stations that were part of the world's first underground railway, the Metropolitan Railway, which ran from Paddington to Farringdon Street. And this station is still intact almost exactly the way it was built back then. It was on a cold January morning when the world's first ever underground railway train, which was steam operated, at the time pulled out of Paddington station and rumbled three and a half miles down the tunnel to Farringdon Street station. The line was an instant success. Approximately 40,000 people lined up for the novelty of riding a train underground. Within six months 26,000 people were riding the train every day. By 1884 there were more than 800 trains in operation on a circular line that enclosed central London. These days the London Underground operates more than five times that number of trains. The London Underground is truly a modern miracle of efficient mass transportation and the opening of the crossrail project is another quantum leap forward. Its aim is to provide a rapid transit system crossing London from west to east by connecting two major railway lines terminating in London, the Great Western Main Line and the Great Eastern Main Line. Crossrail's Elizabeth Line will increase central London's rail capacity by 10%, the largest single increase in the capital's transport capacity in more than 70 years. It is an astonishing engine engineering accomplishment. Constructed under one of the most densely populated, oldest cities in the world, the engineers had to navigate their way through the oldest and most extensive underground rail system in the world, as well as London's Victorian age sewage system. Of course, they also had to deal with London clay, one of the most shrinkable of soil types of all as it's highly susceptible to changes in volume caused by high water content. This is not just a new underground railway line, it's a subterranean miracle. The line will run for more than 100 kilometers using class 345 trains, which are around 200 meters long, making them more than one and a half times longer than the current longest tube train. Work on Crossrail began in 2008 three London mayors and four prime ministers ago. It is worth noting that the Elizabeth line is not a tube line because it goes across a large amount of the national rail network using Great Eastern and Great Western infrastructure and because the trains are much bigger. On average, it will be halving all journey times across London, but the improvements in passenger comfort is almost immeasurable. This is space age technology that is going to cement the position of London as one of the most incredible cities in the world for a long time to come. A new sensation. Right now. 